internet my name is cryptic and today I will be showing you guys how to make a uh, kind of four bar sort of little drop run and it will sound something related to this <laughs> So I'm going to open up a new project and I will be back with that. Okay, so now that I have a, our, our new project open, we are just going to set the BPM to 140 to a normal dubstep oh, tempo. Um, so after this is all started, we can finally add our um, drums. So I'm just going to open my samples and drag in a few... Um, uh, drum samples so I'm just going to go into my Skepsis drum samples and pick out a good snare to start with so I'm liking the snare of life, so I'm just going to drag that in. Okay, and now we can pick out a kick, and I already know which kick I want, the kick of legends. I really like this kick, it sounds very nice, and we can just bring in a ride, the ride of thrust, because that's for a drop. And later we can decide to add an impact, um, just to give it more power, power, but uh, I don't know yet. Um, so now I'm just going to drag in a hi hat, and I already have a good hi hat that I usually always pick, and it is this hi hat. Um, it's got a real nice tick to it. So now that we have all this, we can just let me put that there. OCD uh, snare. Where's that? Oh, okay, wait, my bad. Uh, kick up here. There we go. So, kick there. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So, and where's that hat at? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Now I'm just going to set up the basic drum beat right now, and then after that we will EQ our drums. So, uh, let's just mute that real quick. Just make a four bar drum loop. So, there we go. I'm going to just shorten the snare because it does not need to be that long. Maybe even shorter than that. Let's see there, and I just put that there. All right, so this is what we have. And as you can see, we are clipping with all of our drums. So let me just EQ this kick real quick to get it nice and punchy. Okay, and I usually like my kicks very punchy with a lot of high end, so I'm just gonna remove um, this low end and just cut right here and put another cut right there. And just make a good high cut, or yeah, maybe bring that down a little bit and boost a little bit right there. And we don't need a high cut because it's already been cut. Alright, so that's our kick. It sounds really nice. I love punchy kicks when it comes to dubstep. And now we can... Don't We don't really need to put much work on the hat because it's already pretty ticky. So I'll just show you the EQ real quick. Uh, no high cut needed. Just a little 
boost there and that's about good and the snare Alright, that sounds nice. I'm liking that. And our rod. Uh, let me just shorten that so it's on every beat. Hold, go, and time. There we go. And I can just drag it out to there. So, obviously, that would have to be turned down. So I'm just going to remove a good amount of bass up to about 200, dip a little bit about 2k. Dip about 5k, or 500, my bad. We can do a high cut to up about there. Bring down the high end just a tad. Alright, that sounds nice. Alright, now. Okay, so now that we have our simple drum beat. We can just spice up the beat a little bit, so here we go. Maybe not that. Maybe just bring that back to about there. Alright, so I'm just gonna delete most of this because it's not working. So let's just restart. Oops. Okay. No. Alright. And there.
All right, that sounds nice. Okay, and as you can see, we're clipping, so I'm just going to add a big crusher to our kick, and it'll just stop the uh, the kick from uh, clipping. So you can just turn your resolution all the way up, your drive all the way down, and listen for, or we'll play it until it gets too distorted. So. so that's too low. Okay, as you can see, we stopped the kick from clipping. That's it now. No, that was before. And you can just turn the volume down to about three. Okay, so our kick's done. And we can just add one to our snare as well. So that's good now. Maybe we can add another little snare back here. So let's see if that'll work. I don't think it will, though. All right, so that works. And we can just group all of our drums together and just call this drums. Okay, so now we can get on with our synths. So the uh, plugin I will be using is made, made native, sorry, native in instruments massive. And I'm just going to pick out my growl, the high-end growl. This is a really nice growl. And that is too low. Okay, so I'm just going to lay something down real quick. Um, we're just going to screw around with it just to see if it'll work. Just open up pitch bend because we can make this sound really cool with the so make that zero there. Um actually no. Let me just 
just zoom in on the pitch bend real quick. So, okay, I did not want you to follow me. Okay, so I'm just going to EQ this real quick. So yeah, that's good. And we can add a uh, plugin for distortion. You can get this for free at uh, camelaudio.com. I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, the website. <laughs> distortion and we can also add a bit crusher here just to get rid of the, the clipping and to bring down the volume a little bit as well and it's okay if it's a little um, distorted because it is a bass okay so now that we have that we can add another synth all right so open up a new instance and well not a new instance just a new track um, so once again massive uh, this time I will I don't know what I'm going to use so um oh I forgot to add a uh, what, what is it called a uh, hit for the snare and a, where are you snare there you nope that's not on the snare okay so this will just be very quick so, hmm. that's way too loud. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the EQ on the snare and then open up an EQ on the, uh, the snare hit just to cut the same frequencies out of that so it'll have about the same sound. So let me just solo these two so you can cut everything from 200.
Okay, so I basically just copied the uh, EQ, but I mean, yeah, you could do a match EQ just to make it a lot faster, but... So now I'm just going to add a riser so I can delete all that and just go into the massive, but I didn't really need to do that, but I'm just going to do it anyways, because um, I already have a... Uh, where are you? White noise riser, there we go. So now you can just add a riser and I'm going to place that right before this kick. Except your envelope isn't where it needs to be. the release doesn't need to be that high so That sounds pretty cool. Just want to shorten the tail of the kick. Oh, and I forgot to do this to the hat, but I'm just going to add a, a uh, delay. Well, an echo. So it'll just give it a little more um, feeling. Sorry about that, that's my parents. Um, okay, so now that we got all of this, we can add our new uh, sound. And I'm just going to open up Massive once again. So, okay, now we can, I'm just probably gonna do like something Skepsis, like a good Skepsis growl. <laughs>
I'm not sure how to do this one, but we're just going to go for it. Do you comment at one, three? Alright, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Now I just need to add something right there. So, oh, new track it once again. Um, massive worry, there you are. Um, can Sounds sweet. All right. Sorry if you uh, start hearing me making sounds with my mouth. I'm just coming up with the uh, ideas of what to do. Um, so, I'm thinking about adding a deep yaw right after that um, last growl that we have so far. So.
Just something small for now. So, two, three. Okay, so now that we got our yeah, our yeah, our y'all, uh, I'm just gonna make it faster so I can take the pitch bend off of that one and uh, just delete it and then. Uh, okay, so. Full pitch bend rise. Nah, maybe it down. Mm, just nothing. Let's just do that. Oh, by the way, um, I don't have any mastering. Well, I mean, I do, but it's very limited. Like, I don't have Ozone 5 or anything like that because I can't get it. Um, one, because I don't have any money at the time. And two, uh, I keep trying to search for it on a Isotope's website, but it, they just don't have it. They have uh, Ozone, um, uh, yeah, Ozone 6. And it's I don't think it's that good because I tried the demo of it and... It, it doesn't have reverb or any of the stuff that Ozone 5, 5 has to uh, offer. So, I mean, I try to do what I can with just the stuff that Logic has because, I, like I said, I don't have any mastering um, plugins and it sucks. So, if you're wondering why I don't master at the end of this video, that's why. So, I just wanted to tell you that. Um, the, by the way, this video, uh, what, how long are we at? We're already at a 35. Maybe another hour of this, but I'm not sure. Because, it, like I said, it's a, just a full drop tutorial. Because that's usually about how long these things are. Oh, you go down. You're not going to work. I did, I just tell you're not gonna work. <sighs> um. Oh, 
could be an octave fall down, or is that the same? So that's a gentle speech. I might change this to sonic just to see what it sounds like. No hoo hoo. Okay. Ooh, that'll be a, um, pretty nice. Fifth bend on that. Uh, yes, I do. Then why aren't you making? Bring you down. Yeah, you are. I just didn't notice it. Yeah, alright, I'm stuck with that. 
By the way, if you do like this, you guys can take it and make it into your own song because I will not be using this. So, you guys have every right to take this song and do whatever you want with it. I'm not going to be using it. I get everything done I'm just going to uh, uh, EQ them all and uh, uh, what is it called add uh, the camel crusher off camera just so it doesn't waste uh, precious time for you guys watching this <laughs> And uh, I'm going to just do what I did in one of my previous songs, um, is add this cool rising th uh, synth. Uh, I'm going to try to remember how to do this, um, but uh, let me see, where are you? Where's that nice, is this you? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Okay, so basically what I did, this is going to be like a cool sort of deal for you guys, just so you can learn how to do this. Um, but just drop you there. So, now that I have this, just let me close out of musical typing. And, oh, uh, no, not there. Massive, uh, boy. Filter one cut off, so. Maybe I can make that a little longer. Just put it out to there. Because this 
sound really nice. And I might pause it just to go look back at this song, just so I can show you what I did. is not fitting. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm actually just going to EQ this all and be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just added a bass and I EQ'd everything and sidechained it. So now it sounds like this. Let me just turn my computer up because I added a limiter to everything. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add backgrounds, so, alrighty, oh. alright, once again, massive, so I'm just going to open up my, or get my pluck out for a, uh, just a pluck, because pluck sound, nope, pluck sound nice, right, and it adds a lot of atmosphere and fills up great amount so uh. So we can do something like that. Um. And then obviously we'll bring the volume down. Time, please. Okay, sweet. All right, now I'm just gonna. Bring that one down, but delete that, and then make it a piano instead. So where are you? Piano and style and way grand piano. I almost closed out of that. I don't know what I was thinking.
because we need to definitely clean the sound of this up a lot, so. A good way to uh, EQ pian a piano is to oh, okay is to make it needle thin and then just pick out annoying spots. So like like I think that's annoying, so I'm just gonna uh, drop that. Can I get you back? Thank you. And then we can. Alright, and just to make the high end sound more better, uh, we can use a AU Graphic EQ from the uh, Apple section thingy. Alright, so just get that for um, the uh, analyzer. All right, that sounds nice. Um, it doesn't need that much work. It's just to add um, room in the drop. So these plucks. I should probably EQ this one as well while we're at it. Low cut. No, no, no. Get rid of you. And by the way, without atmosphere, uh, your um, your songs basically sound empty because, or um, what am I saying? Without, I just completely forgot what I was saying. Uh, without reverb, or if I already did say that, but anyways, without reverb, your uh, songs basically have no at atmosphere. So, yeah. Sorry about that. I just had a brain fart. I don't know what I was doing. All right. Back to this. Okay, no, 
much so it goes the other way. All right. All right, I'm just gonna make an arpeggiator so we can turn off the, uh, uh, no, I meant off. Off, okay. So I'm just gonna make an arpeggiator real quick, so. sounds That is a very bad art, but it doesn't need too much work because this is only a tutorial. Oh, God. Oh, that's why I'm starting on the wrong note. Okay. Wow. All right, now I feel like an idiot. That'll do. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to add for our backgrounds is just a cheering crowd. So I'm just going to grab that real quick. And you can basically find this anywhere on the internet if you search hard enough. Because it probably took me about maybe 10-15 minutes to find this. And it's actually really nice at filling your sound. Ah, uh, yeah. 
And obviously take that down a lot because that's way too loud. And if you didn't understand what I was doing, I was trying to cut out that whistle thing, if you could hear it. Um, but now I'm just going to look at the EQ on the output and see where I can um, add frequency in the ARP. So let me go to my mixer real quick. That's not my mixer. And open up an EQ on the output. So I'll put the output up there. Nope, I don't want to put the other up uh, there. Okay. Okay, so this or, or, all right. So. That sounds sick, like really. Oh, I'm like really digging those backgrounds. All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've been going for an hour and eleven minutes now, so um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I taught you something. And like I said, you guys can copy this song if you think it's cool. Uh, you can tweak it however much you want uh, to make it sound original to you or to make it sound better. Um, it's totally up to you. I honestly don't care. Feel free to copy this. Um, but I'm just going to play this one last time so you guys can have fun with it. All right. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.